new videos every day. Are you feeling stressed out? Well, that is a normal thing in today's world. And there are a lot of things that you can feel when you're stressed out. Sometimes you feel tight. Sometimes you feel tired. Sometimes it affects your digestion. Um, there are a lot of things you can do to help with stress. And one of them is acupuncture as well as massage. My name is Chrissy Natoli, and I'm a licensed acupuncturist here in Austin, Texas at the House of Spine. And I'd love to talk to you about some acupuncture points and some Chinese massage techniques that can help you with stress. I'm just doing a little bit of facial massage with some techniques that are part of Twina, which is a Chinese style of massage. Usually I'll start off a treatment with a little bit of massage and right now I'm just, they don't have very fancy names, it's just called pushing. I'm just pushing on the muscles, kind of relaxing Vanessa's forehead. A lot of us will hold stress in our foreheads and we don't realize till someone starts massaging us there that we were really tense there. Um, and then another thing that I'll do, which is called pressing, and I'll press kind of right between the eyebrows and then just make a line up the forehead. And there's a, an acupuncture channel called the Ren channel that goes along from the back of the body up to the front. And so this channel is also being stimulated. And the Ren channel is kind of the most feminine channel, the most kind of the source channel. Um, so by stimulating this channel, you're kind of helping build up the resources, I guess, is a way to talk about it. Um, and I'll usually go back to about here, which is the top, the crown of the head, that point's called do 20. And that's a point that can help raise the energy. It's at the top of the head, so it helps pull energy up. So if someone's feeling tired, that's a good point to stimulate. And also with stress, it's a good point to stimulate, help stimulate mental thought, um, but it's also calming at the same time. Um, there's another line that I'll do pressing along is just along the eyebrows. Again, that's another spot where we hold stress and we don't really think about you don't think about your eyebrows getting tired, but when someone massages them, it actually it feels really good. You realize that you're, you hold stress there. Um, and then just kind of, sometimes I'll do this for stress and also for allergies, just right along here you can get congested if you have allergies and that'll really open up the sinuses. And there's a point here called Tai Yang, which means the sun. And it's another good point for allergies as well as for headaches. And there's just kind of, you can feel there's a little depression right there. And you could rub this on yourself if you have a headache or if you have allergies and it will feel good. And there's some other techniques. This is kind of a rolling technique. Again, just relaxing the patient. And this is something you couldn't really do all of these on yourself, but on a friend or your spouse, it'd be a great way. Just five minutes of that feels so good and really helps to relax someone. And then this is kind of a scrubbing, just scrubbing the scalp. Also is another, another way to stimulate the mind. Um, help clarify the mind, I guess is a good way to say it. Because when you're stressed, sometimes things get really jumbled in your mind and kind of helping to clear the mind is a good thing. So those are just a few things. Sometimes I'll go down along the neck very gently. And there's actually a point in your neck that is a receptor a pressure receptor that your body uses to determine the amount of pressure, like the blood going to your brain. And 
when you press on it, it stimulates your body to relax. Like it stimulates your blood pressure to go down. So just by kind of pressing very gently on the neck, that also can help one relax. So those are a few things that I like to do when I start a massage with someone. A lot of times when people are stressed, they'll come in with neck pain. And so I like to do a little bit of massage on their neck. And um, one of the reasons I like to do massage is not just because it feels good, but it also helps to relax the patient before I do acupuncture. So I think the acupuncture is more effective if someone's nice and relaxed when, when we do the needling. Um, but of course, the, the massage itself is therapeutic. Right now I'm working on a point called gallbladder 20, which is at the base of the skull. And you can kind of feel, if you're looking for it, you can kind of feel an indentation. It's between two muscles, the trapezius and the sternomastoid muscles. Um, and it's pretty much sensitive on everybody. It's where you hold, it helps you hold your neck up. So it's kind of an indentation between, and you can feel because it's tender, and it's right about there, right at the base of the skull, and it's tender for sure. And that's something you can rub on yourself. It's a good point for headaches. A lot of people know that, that they should they'll rub their neck right there for headaches. And it's pretty effective. And then I'll just kind of go down, massage the neck muscles gently, just to relax. I'll do a little pressing. Kind of stretch the shoulders out just a little bit, very gently. And then I will turn the patient's head. Vanessa, I'm going to turn your head just a little bit. And that helps me get to some muscles that I couldn't reach before. And it gives me a better angle to kind of work in there. And again, I just kind of go down. can feel a little bit of crunchiness in there. <laughs> and then when I've done a lot of pressing and rubbing, I'll do a very gentle stretch. It's similar to what a chiropractor would do, but I do it very slowly and gently. And this is something you might not want to try at home until you've had a little bit of instruction, but it's pretty simple. I support her skull right here with my hand and then press on her shoulder. Take a deep breath, Vanessa. And she lets the breath out. I mostly push on the shoulder, but just a little bit on her head. And that really stretches those muscles out and helps relax her. And then I'll turn her back to the middle. And then I'll turn her to the other side and repeat. And try to be even and give attention to both sides. Although if someone has an injury on one side, of course, I'll spend more time working there. And take a deep breath. And then I'll center her again and just rub on her gallbladder 20 again, which is that point at the base of the skull. And then I think she's ready for some needles. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. <laughs> oh. Okay. I wish that the camera could feel yeah, I, <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And my name is Chrissy Natoli. 
If you want more information about my practice, I have a website. It's www.chrissyslittlehealingspace.com. And Chrissy is spelled C-H-R-I-S-S-I-E. So it's C-H-R-I-S-S-I-E-S, Little Healing Space. And thanks for watching. If you don't mind, please rate, comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. <laughs> If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.